United Nations agencies have estimated 13 million people are waking up hungry every day across the Horn of Africa as the region grapples with severe drought and nearly 5.5 million children are threatened by acute malnutrition. The United Nations World Food Programme says the Horn of Africa is experiencing the driest conditions recorded since 1981, with severe drought leaving an estimated 13 million people across Ethiopia, Kenya and Somalia facing extreme hunger. In the meantime, the United Nations humanitarian partners are seeking more than $4 billion to provide life-saving assistance and protection to about 29.1 million people in Ethiopia, Kenya and Somalia in 2022. The United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs says about 14 million people face acute food insecurity and severe water shortages across the three countries owing to drought in the first quarter of 2022. According to the UNOCHA, about 5.5 million children are also expected to be acutely malnourished in the three countries in 2022, including more than 1.6 million severely acutely malnourished. The migration of livestock herds has also reduced milk availability, affecting nutrition, especially for children under five years old. Now, joining us on NC Continental Prime tonight is Barbara Sellers. She's the Senior Communications Advisor at the United Nations World Food Programme Regional Bureau in East Africa. Hello, Barbara. Thanks for joining us. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having me here. Now, Barbara, the Horn of Africa is said to be experiencing the driest conditions recorded since 1981, with severe drought leaving an estimated 13 million people across uh, the region severely hungry. Can you bring us up to speed with the current situation on the ground? Yes, um, so yeah, the Horn of Africa, across the Horn of Africa, uh, what we are seeing is uh, life, livestock are dying, uh, crops are failing, and people are waking up hungry every day as the region grapples with this severe drought, which is caused by the is caused by the driest conditions that we have seen since 1981. So after three consecutive failed rainy seasons, uh, we got this drought and we have uh, failed crops, and we 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 are seeing uh, the consequence all across Ethiopia, uh, Kenya, and Somalia. We are hoping that the forthcoming rains scheduled for March to May will provide some respite and recovery. But the forecast is still uncertain. If we head down into a fourth consecutive failed rainy season, we are really looking at uncharted territory. Uh, malnutrition rates remain high across the Horn of Africa, with some areas reporting reporting very high global acute malnutrition rates, above 50%, um, which is way above the emergency threshold of 15%. So obviously, um, when, when we talk about this region, uh, it's also difficult to speak of drought as an isolated shock. Mm. Uh, and the region is facing several interplaying shocks because uh, what we usually talk, what we usually say is that uh, we, we say that we talk about the three C's, climate, conflict and COVID. So in fact, although droughts are not uh, new to the Horn of Africa, what we see is that the intensity of droughts and the frequency of droughts uh, are increasing since two on yes that's on climate um also we have uh we we have had a, a drought in this in this region almost every year since 2008 and on top of that the rainy seasons are getting shorter and the temperatures are increasing as they are across the whole globe but in africa we are feeling it uh with much more uh, strength then of course we have conflict in ethiopia and somalia that combined with drought causes populations movement um so uh there's been a spike in displacement across the region as families move from their homes in search of water pasture and that's leading to increase intercommunal conflict. Finally, we have COVID, whose impact can be seen as part of a broader economic shock. Uh, 
and and what it, it has brought uh, disruption in in jobs, livelihoods, uh, remittances coming from abroad uh, are much lower than before, and it also it has disrupted the markets and supply chains. So the result is a scarcity on of commodities. So basically, people go to the markets, they don't find uh, enough food, and what they find is much more expensive than six months ago, and mm. even much more expensive than one year ago. Uh, so the drought combined with all those uh, is, all those elements is basically devastating livelihoods and forcing families uh, from their homes. Now, Barbara, the situation you just described is quite dire and terrible. What is the World Food Programme doing to provide humanitarian action and uh, consistent support to build the resilience uh, of these communities uh, for the future? So WFP is already on the ground. Uh, we are, I mean, we've been in the, in the region for over 40 years. Currently, we are supporting families with cash and with emergency food relief, but we are also uh, working on early prevention actions, basically to buffer the impact of drought and to help people recover better from it. So drought affected families are being provided with cash transfers so they can buy fodder for their livestock as the, as the, as the pastures dry up. And others have received payouts through insurance schemes so if their livestock died or their crops fail, they are getting uh, paid by mm. microinsurance, basically. Um, WP is also helping communities recover faster and better from the drought through, through um, power water pumps, uh, amplifying the, 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 the warning systems that can trigger those financial uh, supports that will, will help them survive better uh, at the, the drought. Uh, so once the drought is over, uh, they, they, won't have lose, they won't have lost everything and they will be able to recover easily. You have to remember that in 2011, 250,000 people died of hunger in Somalia due to drought mm. as the humanitarian response was <laughs> not supported quickly enough. That's why it's vital that WFP and all the humanitarian actors in the region um, get the resources to scale up and support vulnerable families now. Thank you very much, uh, Barbara Sellers, for um, keeping us up to speed uh, with the humanitarian situation in the Horn of Africa and East Africa. We do appreciate your uh, insights.